Good morning, Good morning and welcome back to uh, Midlife Van Life. Well, we've had a, a couple of weeks off. It was an uh, unforeseen break. It was an unforeseen break, so which was very, very nice because um, somebody came over to see us, which is uh, Charlotte's cousin, who she absolutely loves and hasn't seen for a long time. It was nice to catch up and all too short as it always is. Um, but yeah, we had a great time and a few other bits and pieces have been going on. Had issues with the dogs again. Talking about the dogs though, it's kind of the discussion we wanted to have today because a lot of things have been happening with the dogs recently. The needs of the dogs have dominated anything else. You can kind of control our life for a little while yeah. well, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They? Which, it's, it's one of those things, but I think in a situation where you kind of live in a van, it, it's kind of amplified and made it more awkward and complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an honest and frank discussion about the pros and cons of having a dog, dogs, with you doing van life and the restrictions it gives you and the joy it gives you. So we're going to find somewhere nice and comfortable to sit. Well, basically a log. It'll be a log. <laughs> <laughs> or actually we could go back to the van actually and do it there we have got some rather ruined seats now that are well past their best we definitely need some more so um the dogs have had a nice uh, little run you can see they have kind of given up on the walk now um they're completely knackered which is exactly what we wanted so uh, maybe we just go back to the van and we'll have a chat there yeah a comfortable seat or well, not so Mind comfortable you, seat when you see it. So. There is the risk that we're going to fall through them both, so maybe not so mm -hmm. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see you back at the van. It was supposed to be cooler today. Well, let's cover that one. It is steaming hot here now. One thing that they do here is all the national parks, like here, they actually close the parks from the 1st of July until the middle of September, something no, like that? No, end, end of August. End of August. So finding park ups now is going to be somewhat of a challenge. But on the upside for the other 10 months of the year, no problem, you can park here. But anyway, we wanted to talk to you about the dogs. So let's talk about the pros and cons of having these little animals, <coughs> because Coco's not too happy right now. The one thing is, is that they whine a lot. I bought these leads a couple of days ago because when we come to places like this or campsites, and so it allows them to have a little wander around so they more freedom than they would do normally. And so far they're working really well. Highly oh recommend it. Coco. Put on the floor. There you go. So currently I have the camera set up in the cab because it's a bit higher and I don't have a tripod. So it makes perfect sense. The Coco's seen the door open and is whining to go in the van. You knock the camera over, nope. me and you are going to have a falling out. If you knock that, you're going to be in so You knock trouble. the camera over. Don't you dare knock that camera over. No. So yes, uh, main points about having dogs. Um, what are the main things to consider? Well, certainly if you're on your own like Amy, it can be quite difficult. And the reason being is that um, you got to do everything with that dog. Certainly in these sort of temperatures now, unless you've got air conditioning, then that becomes an issue because when you want to go shopping, when you want to do, say you want to go and do an excursion, say you want to go kayaking for the day, say you want to go mountain climbing, whatever you might do, um, you know, there's a, not, well not mountain climbing, you can take the dog with you. And kayaking, you can go in the water with them, that's fine. Okay, no, rock climbing then. Yeah, but we won't do You're that. You're going to take so the dog okay. on your back? But it's something for others to consider. It's not yes. something we need to consider, but others might. Well, they're great little companions and enhance van life, I suppose, in certain ways. They disenhance it. That's not really a word, but, you know, kind of make it more difficult. But that's more of an us problem than a them problem, because they're pretty happy. The outdoors for them is great. The outdoors is their back garden. And so the dog rocks up, and this is the downside. The dog rocks up, and especially with these two, is they love barking at other dogs kids, pigeons, anything that moves, they want to bark at it. Trying to get a peaceful moment outside can be quite tricky. For me, one of the downsides is the constant barking. And in these weathers, you can't just leave them in the van. You know, it's just not, I mean, if you wanted to go to a restaurant and you had a house, you just leave them at home. It's not a problem, not an issue. With the van, it can be quite stressful because you don't know whether, you know, the van's going to get towed or someone's going to break into it or, 
you know, there's going to be a fire or whatever. All the batteries fail, and then the they, have fail. No, they have no fan or anything going on. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's probably one of the biggest concerns. That, well, yeah, that's I mean, what worries I mean, me the, the most. The van being yeah. there. But other things are vets. Poor Lily, since our last video, she has been to the vets again. It is a problem sometimes trying to find a vet can be an issue vet bills is another thing to consider you know if you're on a, on a tighter budget then um, vet bills do stack up pretty quickly in the UK you've got insurance you need it over there vet bills are like twice what they are in France so the other thing is cleaning so currently where we are it's the the ground is quite sandy it's quite pine, dusty pine needles. it is literally full of pine needles it smells beautiful but literally they come out go for a wee go for a walk come back put them in the van there's pine needles everywhere. there's pine needles there's dust there's sand they go up on the bed the bed's covered in sand so you're constantly wiping you know wiping everything down sweeping to get things out so um yeah again if you had a house not so much of an issue but in a van small space it can get a little bit tiring if they're wet when they come back you have a soaking wet bed you try your best to towel them down and dry them but, but that can be damp. an issue as well they're still damp little uh yorkies don't really smell that much but they? on the they downside don't. they need grooming so that yeah, is another that is problem down. and something we didn't really consider no. when we came out here is getting them groomed because no, to get an appointment you know you're waiting two or three weeks and we're not always two or three weeks in an area we can't necessarily guess where we're going to be next you know it doesn't necessarily work like that for us if we are somewhere longer then yes we'll put them in but when we're not we've got a grooming kit and then you've got dog safety how safe are they because the thing is you're parking in all different places you don't know what's about you know you could open the door and one of these decides that he wants to leap out and you're on a road that's not too clever Lily's done it once where she literally was so desperate to go to the toilet she just opened the door and she just flew out the door fortunately we were in a place like this where there's not much traffic mm. and um, it was okay so yet again another thing to consider and I think if you are building a van out and you are intending on taking dogs with you then seriously seriously look at your ventilation and what you're going to do to make sure that that dog's safe in mm -hmm. heat so we always try and find park ups where there really is shade. shade it's not always possible and sometimes we need to be parking where we can get solar as well because we need the power so exactly so it's a fine line when doing van life with your pets you know having the dogs is very important for us yeah. you know they make the van feel like a home I, I think van life would be very different if we didn't have dogs for us it works because they're small and there's two of us so it's one stays in the van if necessary and the other goes food shopping yeah things like that and we just adjust things accordingly but I have to say that I do wonder what van life would be like without them and how it's much noisy. easier it would be without the dogs. If you are considering van life and you, you are considering taking your dog then please give it some uh, proper thought because sometimes it's not as easy as you might think. Anyway we have got stuff that we need to do today. Um, we've got to go shopping got to go and try and find some new seats we're not having much joy finding them at the moment because i've got a limited amount of space in the back that the chairs need to fit into and these ones were relatively cheap which is why they're falling is, apart which is the reason why they're falling apart but the more expensive ones are big and bulky so but i hope you've enjoyed this little chat about dogs anyway i hope you find it useful if you've got any questions you'd like to ask about uh, dogs maybe we can circle back to this in a couple of weeks time and answer some of your questions as well so let us know in the comments if you've got any questions mm -hmm. oh the bin runs they're always fun aren't they sweetheart well to be fair i'm just relieved we found a bin because <laughs> <laughs> this heat plus dog poo not great Anyway, we're going to get on the move. Um, I want to go and try and investigate some new uh, chairs. And uh, we need to do a bit of shopping. Usual day to day stuff, really. Food shopping. Yeah. Um, because I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. And, and that's thunder. just that's thunder. Again. It's just like non stop storms. Yeah, um, but it's nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go and do that and then try and find a, another park up. You never know, we might end up back here because park ups around here are 
few and far between, unfortunately. I really fancy some water. I'm feeling really muggy and horrible. Mm -hmm. You fancy fire? trying to find, yeah, we'll find like, some a water, beach or, or some not, water can, somewhere? That's where we can stay. I want to take a dip. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow as well, I believe. That will be cool. No or not? <laughs> no. It won't be cool. And I'm quite glad for a shady day. Mm -hmm. It seems to make the day go so much easier. And I don't think people would necessarily appreciate you taking a dip either. They don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't have that favourable comment when you have it on there. Cool, well, thanks a bunch. It's all right. Are you being discriminatory against my size? Are you going? Are you being fatism? Fattest? No, Whatever. I'm a realist. I'll tell you what I'm really looking forward to is if we can go to the Gorge de Verdun and we can do some kayaking. That's probably mm -hmm. something, probably the thing I'm most looking forward to all summer, I think. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on. Let's get to the shop. <laughs> There's some conveniently placed chairs. I wonder if they missed them. There is a motorhome shop not that far away. So I was thinking about going there. It looks quite well stocked and looks like it might have what we want. About 20 minute drive. Let's do that, shall we? It looks sturdy. What's wrong with it? Is it not pretty enough no. for you? Oh, okay. You choose yourself your chair. You choose exactly what you want and I will choose exactly what I want. Okay, that was successful. Well, for, Not me. for me, it wasn't. But I have got slightly more um, you think? requirements. Look, after two years in a van, if I want a pink or orange chair, that's what I'll have. I've just got a plain old boring black one with wooden arms. So it was really comfortable. It's practical. I like practical. And a little table as well. Woohoo! Really going up market now with a table. Got a little extendable table, and that's great for coffees yeah, and the one the drinks boat. and things. But when you actually want to um, to eat, it's not quite wide enough. So it's not high enough. Is oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, that's it's not quite wide thing. enough. It's not high well, enough. It will actually be high enough for the chair I intended to buy myself. Oh well, bully for you. So I will sit at that table, and you can sit at your own. <laughs> I'll have a pretty I'll resin table in front of me to eat on, and a pretty chair to sit on. And I'll look like a king sitting up on my You'll big like table, and you can. And we can find in three months' time. I still haven't found the chair I wanted, <laughs> and I'll be on the floor. <laughs> We'd see it on the floor. Be on a cushion. You may need to go around some vintage shops and try and find an old I've seen one because on that's what you're looking it, for. It was to come from somewhere. Okay, Lily. Thank you. That that was Lily, not me. Anyway. That's what I'm after, a retro style foldable deck chair or a beach seat. We're now going to actually look for a park up. It would be quite nice to go to a beach tomorrow and do some swimming. It really would be nice to go to the beach. You're not so keen though. You don't look very keen. Why come to the coast if you don't want to go to the beach? My swimming costume doesn't fit. Oh my god. That's almost as bad as I've got a headache. <laughs> Once we've found somewhere, we shall get on the move and uh, you'll find out where we're going. Hello. Hello. Here's a fun fact for you. On the drive back, we had a little bit of a problem with the camera and there's no audio like at all. So what? we, <laughs> a tad. Rather embarrassing. Actually, it's not the first time that's happened. That's happened two or three times, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first time we'll admit to it. Yeah, it's just a, a lack of professionalism. Ooh, that's spiteful. Well, it wasn't aimed at you. It was both of us. But we are now parked in a really nice location. It is time to cook some food. There's not really much cooking involved in this one, is there? No. I think it definitely suits the weather. Yeah, it's fresh. Charlotte. 
it's over to you. Well, that could have gone better. It could have gone worse. I might give myself one out of 10 presentation skill. Taste, a different matter. That was absolutely delicious. It was uh, really good. Absolutely outstanding. Um, we're actually gonna put the recipe in the description. The sauce and everything used in it is so, so nice. It's very, very messy, hence I did film it. But you wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> it was a bit, it was proper messy. Yeah, the construction um, looked okay. Yeah. But it wasn't, it wouldn't have passed inspection. No. It fell apart quite rapidly. So give it a go. Recipes in the description. Anyway, we are going to prepare to go to bed and we will see you in the morning and show you where we are. It might be sunny might be cloudy and I bought a chair for me not for you oh, because gosh. yet one chair which means you're still sitting on a shitty one yep that's all right I will wait to find the perfect one I'm patient so sometime next year yeah Charlotte might actually have a it'll chair. be deep in the midwinter when I can't use it see you in the morning see you in the morning Good okay, morning. good morning, and um, it is a damn fine morning as well, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. We are by a lake, there is a big lake behind us. Sun is shining. I was just got to take the dogs out for a walk, take them for their morning uh, little uh, routine. And I don't know if you want to get a cup on. Second yep, coffee. I'll put coffee on. One wee, the next one queues up, ready for her turn, won't go without it, and pees on exactly the same spot. You weird little animals. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> that was too. Oh my giddy up, you did that on purpose. No, I yeah, didn't did. do anything on purpose. Yeah, no, I did not. Oh no, it's. No, that's completely gone. I promise you that's not on purpose. It's okay. Anyway, we're in a really good, really good location. We've got lots of noisy little. Um, no, they're not so little actually, are they? Crickets? No, they're pretty big. But I think a million other people have turned up as well. It's that kind of season now where you, you just everywhere's going to be busy. So we're going to take a stroll down to the, um, to the water's edge though, see what we can do. We're just going to have our coffee and yeah, go for a swim.
So how was your sandwich? Well, it ended up on the floor because it was blended on my hand and I got scared, so... <laughs> you just lopped the sandwich. That's hilarious. It's just a shame I wasn't recording at that time. I think I'm going to go and take a dip. And Coco keeps taking herself to the edge of the lake. Yeah, the lake. she does. She's actually quite enjoying it. She yeah. usually doesn't, nope. you know? No, it's not forcing She's just off her free will. She's off there and she's sitting in the water. Because mm. it's, not, it's, not, it's not cold. It's, no, it's, it's so it's, shallow. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's nice. So I'm just going to go and take a dip in it and um, yeah. Keep our fingers crossed that no one else comes to sit near us. Yeah, that would be great. Don't even ask what's happened to my hair. I have no idea. The lake water. Uh, lake water's given me somewhat of a Mohican. Actually, I quite like it. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's a winner? So, yeah, now I'm sporting a Mohican. It's time for us to go. We've enjoyed all of our picnic. We've eaten just about everything. We, we have some company now as well. Um, and to be honest, we're, it's really hot. <laughs> the water's lovely. But um, we're going to get going back to the van now. Oh yeah, and we lost we lost the parasol. Yeah, <laughs> parasol. We off into the lake. <laughs> I had to go swimming off after it. The wind was just taking it further and further out. And neither could run. <laughs> There's there a rock, so stop toe. Um, but now we're going to head back to the van now, and um, yeah, we will see you again, hopefully next week. I have got a bit of a journey to do with Amy. Um, we are heading back to the UK uh, for a, a period of time, short period of time, to get some bits done. I'll be staying here with the dogs. Ooh, all yeah. three? All three. It's going to be fun. That's going to be immense fun for Charlotte. So, um, but hey. None of them want to do what you tell them to do and none of them want to go in the same direction. Mm. I rather think I'd rather be going back to the UK than dealing with all three dogs on my own. So, you're, you're welcome to that one, Charlotte. But anyway, we will see you again next week and I um, hope you all have a good week as well, uh, whatever you're doing. I know summer holidays are coming up, so let's know where you're going, what you're doing. You must be all getting rather excited for your vacations. So we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye. Take care.